Hi everyone, it's Mimi. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be scrapbooking part four of our Vintage Blooms album. Um, that means there's only 20 more pages left, so that's exciting. <laughs> If you haven't caught on, pink is my favorite color, so when I found this picture of my mom and then it's either me or Jesse next to her, both wearing pink, I was so excited to put it on the background of this little bike paper because I just love the pinks layered up together. I just think it's also pretty and then when the picture matches as well, it just makes it that much better. To put in between each banner piece, I'm using these cute little heart buttons, um, but I don't have any thread to put through the buttons, so I learned this trick from somebody here on YouTube. I want to say it was the Frugal Crafter, um, but you just cut a slim piece of paper off to fit through the holes, and you use that kind of like thread, and it's super cute, and it just adds like the finishing touch to the buttons, because um, in the past I've used buttons just regular without anything through the holes, uh, but you can definitely tell it looks unfinished, so I love this paper hack because it's so quick and so easy. And fun fact about the banner pieces, it actually came out of this cool calendar paper pad from Michaels, which I did not buy directly from Michaels. I bought it at Goodwill and it was like literally $1.99 and then the back of all the calendar pages, it has like four or five pages of just paper embellishments. Um, so that's pretty cool and I definitely scored with that because the, these paper pads normally run, like I think it's regular price $20 and then if you have like the buy two or buy three, get two free type of deal. Um, they end up being like $7 an album, so $2 for the whole thing is awesome, and there's so many embellishments, I'm so excited to use them all. Every time I make a video with using the scrapbook paper, I just am so excited for spring. I look forward to it so much. I mean, I live in Rochester, New York, so of course there's snow on the ground, and lately I feel like in the past few years, like it just snows, and then it melts, and then it snows, and then it melts, and it's just this awful cycle. So I'm really looking forward to spring. I can't wait. We just bought a house, so I'm excited to get outside and fix up the backyard and things and maybe have like a little barbecue. Um, but yeah, this paper is just so beautiful, and I can say it every single time, pretty much about every single paper pad. I love it so much. <laughs> So after gluing the buttons down, I kind of realized that um, the banner makes the layout a little bit lopsided. So I'm pulling in this like raised diamond little embellishment. I think one of my friends made it for me back when I was doing swaps um, and it had a little mermaid on it, but that fell off. But that made it the perfect base for this other paper embellishment that came in that paper pad I was talking about. Um, so I feel like that kind of evened out the layout a little bit and made it not so lopsided. And then um, just to bring some weight down to the bottom, Bottom, I did add a couple of embellishments there. I specifically chose to add this dragonfly because that's kind of my mom's thing. Like we think that when we see dragonflies, we see her, so it's like her visiting us. So I specifically added a dragonfly to the layout and I also add this little donut you can see there because one thing she used to always say was eat the damn donut. Like life is too short, don't bother trying to lose weight and do silly things, eat the donut, enjoy life and just do anything you want. <laughs> but that completes the layout, so I hope this inspires you to scrapbook one of your own photos and get those memories out of an old album so that you can see them and enjoy them. Um, and make sure you subscribe if you wanna see the other 20 layouts in this album. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, bye.